So hello and welcome to another edition of DAX Fridays. And in today's DAX Fridays, we are going to talk about how to get values from tables that have inactive relationships. We're going to use user relationship function, we're going to use lookup function, and we're going to see an example where the user relationship function won't work and how to fix that. So packed, packed, packed video. Stay tuned, I'll be back in a second. So hello and welcome back. For those of you that are new, my name is Ruth Basolo from Corval.com and uh, today we have a really packed, packed video. We are going to solve a scenario that we have on the World Cup report on part one. If you don't know what that is, uh, just link below so you can check that video out. We're going to go through the case anyhow during this video, so don't worry. But uh, we are going to go through a scenario where we need to get pass a value from a table to another where the only way to do it is using inactive relationships. We are going to use user relationship function for that and you're going to see that it's not going to work out of the box that we need to do some changes to that. And uh, then we will do, do it in another way, look up value and uh, finally yeah, we will wrap up the video with a, just a short explanation. Um, but without any more delay, how about we get started? I'll see you at the end. Okay, so uh, here we're in Power BI and this is the FIFA uh, World Cup Power BI report. And uh, this is what we're going to do. You see this table? Let me copy it in a new page. So. This table is made like this just for visual purposes, you know, so it's just easy to read. So you have the date when a match is being played, the actual match, Russia against Saudi Arabia, and then you have the flag for Russia, the flag for Saudi Arabia, you know, it's a visual, very visual, like power, powerful way to see when your teams are playing. Uh, you have which group it belongs to and the actual local time. Uh, I think this, uh, Local time is not my local time, just in case you wonder. I have to change this to two, in able to actually get the actual local time, but that's another question. So the thing is, to be able to create this, uh, I need to have team A flag and team B flag and pivoted. And uh, let me show you. Here we have a table that has all the information about the matches. And here we have a table that had all the information about the group, at least some information about the groups, the groups, which teams, and here we have the flag URLs. In this table, we don't have the, we don't have the flag URLs uh, by default. I added them, the flag URLs, using Power Query. And I explain why I did that on the video on part one. Make sure you go and check it out in case you haven't seen it. But the idea behind this is that um, you know, to be able to get the flags from group into matches, we can have a relationship from team to team A, and that will pass the flag. It's absolutely no problem. So the way it is done, I can just go to groups, get flag URL, and uh, I need to, so sorry, I need to make this as an image, otherwise it won't work. And you see it's passing the right flag. Now the question is, what do I do with team B? So if I pass create a new relationship, team team B, it's going to create an inactive relationship. Okay. And to be able to make this work, we need to use uh, DAX to be able to pass the information. And I have actually passed the information with DAX the issue is that it passes the URL, but it doesn't convert it to an image, so it doesn't work. What we want is the image, not the actual URL. But I'm going to show you how to pass the the value to the matches table either way, because I think it's a great uh, Dax Fridays video, even though the actual results won't work. If you know how then to convert that into an image, please let me know. I just don't know how to do it. So. We're going to do this uh, in two ways. We're going to use uh, user relationship and then we're going to use lookup values. So let's start doing that. We go to matches, new measure, team B flag 
user relationship. So I already have a video on user relationship. Make sure you go and check it out, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and create this thing. So calculate, we want to pass the values of uh, values of the flag URL. And we need to um, activate user relationship and then we have groups uh, team and then we have matches perhaps it's easier to do right team b got it there and the first thing you're going to see is uh, a table of multiple values will supply where single value was expected so it's not returning unique values so let's cover for that if has one value team uh, team b and look at what happens here so you see that what i'm saying here is sorry for the syntax uh, but it says Use the relationship group team team B to get the value for the group flag URL. So it's basically saying activate this thing and give me the flag URL for team B uh, when there are unique values. And look what it's doing. It's giving me team A. Russia, Egypt, Morocco. If we forget the fact that is not giving me a URL. You know, I cannot categorize a measure. So I cannot say this is an image URL. That's the main issue. Uh, so, but that's not the only issue. I mean, it's, it's just giving me the team A. So it's ignoring the user relationship completely. So what is basically going on in here? Let me, let me show you. Okay, so what is going on? He goes through the case, he explains like, okay, he's gone, you know, the same thing has happened to a friend and he's trying to check what was going on and he comes to the realization that lookup table, to the, from the lookup table to the base table, user relationship works well, but it doesn't do it the other way around from what it calls the base table to the lookup table, which is the case that we have. And now the case, the, the question is, what does it mean we cannot use it? You can. You can use uh, calculate to propagate filters and, you know, to move the filter from one table to the other. And uh, he actually has a part two. I think it's fantastic. And I just love the way he's done this. It's fantastic, really, because it gives a pattern for how to, you know, avoid this. And uh, we are going to put this in practice, basically. You will have all these links, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to leave you the blog post. Make sure you come here and read it because I will not go through detail into detail with this. I want to do a user relationship part two video where I go into detail with this, but I, I will be too much off topic for this video. Just if you're curious before I make that video to know what, how that works and why it works, come here and read it. It made a fantastic job. But let's go back to Power BI and put this thing in action. So we are going to copy these. I would love to be able to copy measures in an easier way. Please, Power <laughs> BI team. Uh, that, that is one of my highest wishes. Calculate. Calculate. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is the way it works. We have we have to wrap calculate, and then again go please and read the um, the blog post if you want to know exactly what I'm doing. Matches, and then we have the use use relationship and. Here we have to put and then we put 
team. Make this a little bit smaller. Why not make this smaller too? And Uruguay, Iran, we're back in business. So as you can see now, it's really returning uh, Team B flag. The issue we have with this is that it's not returning uh, the flags is just written in the URL as we speak before. So yes, we could fix it. Uh, we could activate the relationships. We could make user relationship work, but still the problem persists that it doesn't sh show it as an image. It shows it as a URL. Okay, so you might think, oh, we found a solution. Great, or half a solution at least. Um, but if you go to Javier's post, you will see that he's linking to Marco Russo post. Uh, it is this one, user relationship, uh, something, something, in calculated columns. Um, he mentions that the pattern that we just used shouldn't be used. He says it somewhere here. It's a strongly advised not to use it. Use lookup value instead. It is easier to understand. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, he doesn't really say, I guess it is a performance thing. He says performance data is not available here. However, in a calculated column, the difference is not important. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a clarity of expression. I'm not, I'm not sure. But... Um, the good thing with with lookup value is actually something that we can use here and it will work if we use it as a calculated column. So uh, let me show you how it will work with calculated column. We're here, we go to matches. There is an advantage of doing, you know, we can do lookup value, uh, team flag, oh, go. team flag B look up value and there are apparently two benefits one is performance of using lookup value according to Marco Russo the other one is actually that it will create if we do it like a calculated column we can categorize these so we can I have a video in group of lookup value make sure you go and check it out it will pop up here and we'll link below um, so I'm just going to write it if you want to know the syntax just check that video uh, this is team and then team B and as you can see it's given us uh, we can't see it unfortunately but but it is giving us the right uh, flag and we can go here say this is an image URL and then we can go here and put it in here and voila, I will show us the flag. So now we have flag A, flag B, everybody happy. Now, so you say, Ruth, why did you do it in Power Query? Well, here's the thing. Uh, if I have to do a calculated column, I'd rather do it in Power Query. I haven't measured performance. I didn't know if it is better performance in DAX or in Power Query in this case. It probably is the same. The thing is that because this is data preparation, I'd rather do it in Power Query. So when the data comes in, it's already ready. Uh, it is a preference. Just let me know in the comment box if you prefer something else and why. This is the way I reasoned when I made it. Um, so yes, there is a way to do it in DAX. There are multiple ways. One of them, I haven't figured it out. If you know how it works, just let me know. But because the way to do it in DAX is not optimal at all. I prefer to do it in Power Query, and that's what I show you in part one. So hopefully this was a useful video. So DAX can get a bit confusing, right? Oh my lord. Uh, I am definitely going to do a user relationship video, just going in detail through that specific scenario. But I, I didn't want to go off topic way too much, so I will do it in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the World Cup series. 
the report and World Cup series has not started yet. I'll see you on Monday again. We're continuing with the report, the World Cup series report. We're going to actually download the knockout phase. You know, when all the groups have played and we have winners, then we're going to the semi-finals, the finals and that stuff. And we're going to build that part. So when you press refresh, the new countries will update and we will have a schedule on our Power BI report. But that is on Monday and Wednesday. So for now, just enjoy your weekend. It's going to be beautiful weather in Sweden. Hopefully where you live, it will be nice weather too. And I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye.